Hi, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So today I got a special treat for you. We have a studio sleeper on a T800. So let's head outside and check it out. So here I am inside this mystery truck. Uh, we're gonna head outside and take a look at it in a minute, but uh, this truck, there's something really neat about it. Uh, so we're gonna head outside and take a look at it in a minute, but first, uh, love to give you a quick tour of the inside. So uh, this is the studio in, studio bunk. It's an 86 inch uh, sleeper. Uh, what we have is a double bunk configuration. Now what you can get on the studio bunk here you can get either a lower bed that can either lift up or be stationary. Uh, let's see what this one is here. This one is a, is a fixed lower bed. You can also get a, a sofa bed which flips down into a couch uh, or flips up into a couch or down into a bed. So there's a different configuration that you can get there. Uh, so let me just uh, go over a few things in the bunk area here. So I'm just gonna grab my camera uh, my GoPro and uh, do some filming with that so all right so basically what we have here uh, starting at the front with a 86 inch studio sleeper you get an extra storage compartment so this guy right here that is a extra storage compartment same thing on this side here that's the uh, the extra storage that you get uh, if you're ordering a 72 inch bunk basically from this point back it's exactly the same uh, as an 86. The only thing is you're getting this extra storage with the 86. So what that gives you is an extra upper storage shelf. You have a spot to uh, hang your, your pants or your shirts or whatever, and then a big open storage below. Same thing on this side here, except this side has an additional shelf in there. So you got a little bit more storage. So hard to beat this truck for, uh, for interior storage space. Uh, you have your fridge mounted down low. Uh, something else here, we have a storage shelf uh, on this side here. And this flips down into a table. So I'm not gonna take the plastic off. I'm gonna let the, uh, the person that bought this truck uh, do that. But uh, you have a little upper storage table here to make a sandwich on or do some paperwork. Uh, you have storage up here, a mount for your TV up here if you'd like. Got a little light as well, mirror, etc. So a few, a few different things. Uh, this upper bunk comes down. You have a little safety latch right here. It's like a regular style buckle. You pull that down and voila, there's your upper bed. So your lower bed is a spring mattress. Your upper bed is a foam mattress. It is a solid piece. You don't have uh, a seam down it or anything like that. So you still get a solid mattress up top. And as far as space, um, ouch. Uh, as far as space, you have a little bit of, uh, not, not so much space in this bunk as you would say in a T680, but uh, you still have a, a fairly decent amount of space. Uh, same thing with the upper bunk here. Not quite as much space up here. You can see I'm kind of bent over a little bit, but uh, you do get a, a little bit smaller bunk as far as height is concerned with uh, the T800s or the W900 cabs. So let's just close up the roof line here, or close up the, uh, let's just close up the uh, upper bunk here. All right, so uh, something I wanted to show you guys here as well. Uh, we have the stowable armrests mounted onto the National, uh, or actually these are the Kenworth uh, Premium Plus leather seats uh, that are heated. So you have the nice Kenworth embossed 
uh, logo right there. Uh, but these are the stowable armrests. So you just lift this up. There we go. It's just locked in place there. So yeah, and then they uh, they ratchet and then they flip out of the way. Same thing on this side here. So it gives you a little bit more room in between the seats. Uh, something that we can do, we can offer you uh, the minimizer uh, uh, floor mats. Another, uh, just a shout out to my friends over at uh, Shift Products, uh, Adam and Jason and David. Uh, they have a really cool uh, floor mat that you can put into a W900 or T800 cab. It's a carpeted floor mat. Uh, you guys should check them out. They're on uh, Shift Products. You can see them on Instagram on Facebook. Uh, if you just search them up on Google, you'll find them. Uh, so go ahead and check out uh, Shift Products there. They're not paying me to say that, just uh, they're good friends of mine. They they, uh, they buy uh, some really nice trucks from us. And uh, yeah, just uh, go and check them out. You, you won't uh, be disappointed. All right, uh, so let's finish the interior tour here. Kind of like babbling 100 miles an hour. I'm just so excited and jacked to be in a studio sleeper. This is uh, lots of fun. All right, so here I am outside the truck. It is a kind of chilly day, but uh, let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, what are we looking at here? This green machine. What a beautiful truck. I'm glad you guys waited to the end to see this here. So uh, this is a T800 86 inch studio sleeper. Beautiful truck. Uh, we have it set up with a 13.2 front end. And on the rears, we got 40,000 pounds, 373 gear ratio. It's got the Meritor rear axle. Uh, we ordered this bad boy with these uh, polished tanks, seven inch tank straps. They're all polished up as well. Uh, on the exhaust stacks, we just ordered it with the, uh, the standard shield. You can get customizations in there have your customer name in there, or it would say Kenworth in there if you'd like. 15 inch air cleaners. I personally am not a fan on it of the 15 inch on a T800, but actually this looks pretty mean. I like it. Uh, we got the uh, stainless steel bumper. This is not the tapered bumper, which is an option. What is a tapered bumper? That's a tapered bumper. That little corner right there versus a straight. Dual exhaust, of course. There's your big def tank. That's a 31 gallon def tank. And then your second uh, fuel tank right here. Access steps with your deck plate and a clean uh, back of cap. We put the uh, stainless steel smooth half fenders on it and it's got a sliding fifth wheel. So this truck is sold, custom ordered. Customer waited about four months or so for it to come in. And uh, there's your rear axle. What's under the hood, you might ask? Well, let's take a look and check it out. It's a Packard, 510 horsepower, uh, 1850 pound foot of torque. Very nice uh, engine, it's been working very well for our customers. Uh, we've changed it to a common rail fuel system. I'll show you on the other side here. This is not really new information. Back in 2013, we went to a common rail fuel system. Here's your two fuel pumps right there. And uh, your fluid level checks are on this side. You got your coolant right up there, washer fluid, your fuel filter, power steering, your engine oil, and then your battery boost terminals and your re release bearing and cross shafts for your uh, clutch linkage for your clutch there rather uh, all right so yeah dual exhaust dual air cleaners one piece windshield you can get it in a two piece if you'd prefer uh, the extra lights up on the bunk so that's an option as well it's got the seven inch stacks up top so uh, that's the truck so let's uh, Let's close this video out here with the, this beautiful green machine in the background. Thanks for stopping by the channel to check it out. Uh, really excited to be back 
Uh, also, I'm really excited. I got a new idea. Uh, so stay tuned. Keep watching the videos. Uh, I'll be doing a launch on Facebook and Instagram. So don't forget to subscribe to those channels. Uh, you can search me up as the Kenworth guy on those two platforms. Uh, I got some really exciting stuff coming out. So don't go too far away. And uh, don't forget to always have the world's best day. We gotta do the glamour shot, so let's get to that. <laughs> 